start off with this map that shows all the oil is near the Ebo land and the Niger Delta and the oil and gas and oil producing areas. And if you look at the oil production and income per capita, that's the chart from 1960 to 2010. Now I'm going to, you know, this, this also shows you where some of the cities I was talking to you about up in the top right you have Madaguri, below it you have Yola, then the center top, Kano, below it Joss, center, top, I mean, top left you have Gu Sail, below that to the bottom left you have Lorin and you have Lagos and you have Wari, Port Harcourt. Okay, so we go on to the next chart. This chart shows you the different wealth distributions in the different states and districts and here you have the city of Benin up here you have Niger, Cameroon, etc. Here you have oil it's one of the wealthy districts in the south by Yorba land right by the ports, very wealthy districts by the delta basically by Igbo land and small tribal lands in the area and I'll show you who's you know it's by the Ibabos as well, I'll show you in a second how it breaks down and we go here to the Yoruba and then you have the Ijao with the Niger Delta tribes. They have most of the oil, but some of it's in Ibo land, some of it's in uh, Ibibo land, like I was saying before. Then you have the Ifek, and then you have the Ikoi. And then, so you have Ido, Egala, and you go up here, you have the Boko Baru, you have the Kambari tribes, the Zuru, the Kaj, they have the Barom, you have the Teruk, you have the Mumi, you have the Sumyev, you have the Jibu, Jukanoid, and there's many other tribal groups as well. These are just some of the major ethnic groups, um, and you have the House of Fulani, the two tribes that mix together, and they control, as you can see, they control most of the north. And we go on to the next chart, you ha um, well, I guess that, that about sums it up. So I'm going to end this map by showing you the tribal lands. Okay, so... Obviously, when you have the map of Africa going left from Nigeria, we're talking about Benin, then Togo, then Ghana. Then we're drifting off into the area of the Ivory Coast and Guinea and Sierra Leone and Senegal and Mauritania, Mauritania, excuse me. And then you have. Morocco, of course, on the top, and then you have all those beautiful countries, uh, Algeria, Tunisia, and all the stuff in North Africa. Anyway, so, it's important to remember that this map is key to what's going on. I'm going to talk a little bit about what's been going on in the news, okay? I'm going to reference my notes for this one. I forced myself to remember all those countries in, in that order. There's a reason for that, and I'll get into that in another video. Anyway. January 20th, you had the Boko Haram attack in Kano that killed 143 people. You had the attack yesterday and earlier this morning that killed over 120 people. Okay, keep in mind that last year, on December 25th, you had the attack on the Catholic Church in Madala, which killed 42 people. Some of this is also from the news. I think it was BBC. I'll put in my uh, references. Anyway, you, in December 22nd, you had SEC members that were fighting with the police in Damaturu. So then you go on. You had the Mataguri bombings that left four dead and 100 people were killed. In, you know, between the bombings and the shooting attacks where the SEC members went through the building shooting people and those bombs went off to kill four people. Anyway, just to clarify that, we go on to August 26th. This is going backwards. 2011, a SEC member detonates explosives and 20 feet people, 25 people are killed and 100 wounded. June 26th, excuse me, June 16th, a carload of explosives detonates at the federal capital. Okay, we go on. April 9th, 2011, gunmen from the sect set fire to Mataguri International Hotel and kill a politician. April 8th, bomb allegedly planted the sect explodes at an election office in Seluja in Niger State, killing 16 people. Gunmen with the sect shoot and kill the leading candidate for the Borno State in January 28th. 
December 31st, you have the military barracks attacks that killed four people and bomb exploded and, you know, by the beer garden as well. And December 24th, you had a series of bombs and in the city of Joss that killed 80 people. September 7th, in 2010, you have the gunmen freeing 700 inmates. That, that's where some of the reinforcements came. In 2009, you had the 700 people that get killed when they riot in Mataguri because they're pissed off. And the security crackdown hits as well. And in 2009, hundreds of people were killed when they stormed this police station in Mataguri as well. And the leader, Muhammad Yusuf, was captured and killed. And in 2002, it was founded. So now you have the Emir that I showed you before. And you have this guy who escaped from prison. And you have the Emir of Abeja, who was, him and his two sons were arrested. And you have the spiritual head of Boko Haram still wanted on the run. So there's a lot of going on. It's important to note that it has to do with the oil, it has to do with who has the oil, and it has to do with surgical strikes against the Igbo nation by the scum and it should be the other way around they're killing the politicians they're going after the oil they're taking over the the military they're doing this in a calculated fashion that is quite sickening so whether we're talking about Kabaru this guy Sokoto the sardine of Sokoto Remember, Sokoto is in the top left in House of Fulani land. Let me show you. Um, see right here. This is where some of the, the violence has been going on here in Sokoto. And as well as in Joss right here in the central region. Then in the Delta region, the Ija tribe down here, some of the strife over the oil. I don't know if you can see that well on camera. Let me... Uh, Pop this up and see where. Okay, yeah, you can see it. Okay, this is the Ija area. This is Lagos, the old capital before they moved it to Abuja, right here toward the north in the central region. So, a lot of the violence is going to be over here in House of Fulani territory, which is where the terrorists are. And then you have the this kind of central region, which is kind of split between Christians and Muslims that mix, that live together. And they have small communities that fight with each other. And then, of course, you had some attacks in Kaduna as well. And I'll, I'll end it right there. Thank you.